You know, I just listened to what I consider to be, because I've heard it defined many times here, diatribe. I want everyone to know when I speak that I am against tax havens. You've done nothing. Because you said this was tax reform in 2017. The last tax reform we had, legislation, was back in uh, 1985, when Democrats and Republicans did work together. People like Senator Bradley, Congressman from New York State, Mr. Kemp. That's when we had tax reform. Don't call this tax reform what you did in 2017. I'm against tax shelters. You want to go into that? We'll be here all day. I'm against double taxation. I have never heard you speak about those things. I have never heard. In the 25 years I've been here, I've never heard you talk about any of these three. Put your cards on the table. What do you suggest we do about tax havens, tax shelters, and double taxation? I want to hear. And government handouts. There are people who are starving out there. There are people who are working hard every day and getting nothing in return to improve their lot. Handouts. That's what it's come to? So we'll wait to help our donors, and then they'll eventually help those folks I just talked about. That's your philosophy. Unless you speak against it, it's your philosophy. So we're not going to subsidize any state any longer, the state of New Jersey. We're tired of it. Josh calls it moocher states. I have a better word for it, which I cannot say here in public. Let's not undersell this. Today we're finally tilting the scales from those at the top and building a better America. This is not soak the rich. This is pay your fair share. This is about tax fairness. Erasing the legacy of the tax scam we're, we're aware of in 2017. And you got the payback in 2018. This is about reversing the wealth gap that disproportionately impacts low-wage workers and people of color, and people in the middle class who you speak about today. You spoke about them. You talked about cops, firefighters, teachers maybe. They're all folks, mostly of whom are in the middle class. And right now in the state of New Jersey, they're not very happy about what you did in 2017 because what you did is gave them a big tax increase. When you said that I don't care if it goes back to the Civil War and you gave those people the right to deduct it in their federal income taxes, local taxes, they knew more than we did. The Civil War folks knew more than we did because they knew that the money was going towards the war and very little it was getting back into the local communities. They knew about it. Why don't you? So the bill today will make America stronger and fairer. By the way, the Economist did a story just a few months ago about when does the economy improve for everybody under which regime showed the difference between Republican and Democrat. You'd be very surprised. Who raised the taxes and who got away with it? We're for everybody. Everybody's going to make out on this deal. Oh, really? It will support class families, working class families, to create good paying and green jobs. We're extending the American Rescue Plan. The tax credits that have cut child poverty in half. I have never heard anybody on the other side of the aisle even recognize that fact. You don't want it to happen. That's your problem. We're legalizing Medicare rec negotiations to usher in the largest Medicare expansion in generations. We're capping Part D out-of-pocket costs to finally stop forcing Americans to 
choose between their wallets or their lives. I thank the gentleman. Let me recognize.